Hey everyone, Garbage here. You know, if there's one thing that I like about video games, especially in single player games, it's when the game makes you feel like you're not the main character. Now, oftentimes when I play a game, especially one that's supposed to be open world, I'll run into a pattern that really breaks the experience for me. You know, you're on a mission and you have to travel to a dangerous area to complete some task and enemies appear that you have to kill. Okay, that makes sense. But then maybe sometime later, uh, you have to return to that area uh, for a different mission and the exact same enemies appear in the exact same spots and you realize that this place is not actually a dangerous area where bandits roam or anything, but rather it's an obstacle course with scripted events which you can predict and it's really just an artificial challenge that the main character has to overcome so that they don't just speed run through the area. You know, you're no longer in a fantasy world. You're in a video game controlling pixels on a screen. And you know, it's not exactly a deal breaker if a game is like this, but eventually once you figure out all the spawns and you find the optimal way to get through an area, it all just sort of fades into the background and no longer feels like an active part of the game anymore. And I do find myself getting bored of that pretty quickly. On the other hand, this game that you're seeing on the screen, Stalker Anomaly, is different. So Stalker Anomaly, which is a standalone mod based on the original Stalker games, which you should totally play by the way if you haven't, has always been known for having very advanced AI. It's called A-Life, and I don't know a whole lot about how A-Life works, but it treats NPCs in the game almost like as if they're their own individual person who explores the world kind of on their own schedule, independent of you, the player. For example, I was on a mission to deliver a package to a specific NPC in the game. And it's not like this one was a special character or anything, right? They're all just randomly generated when they spawn in. But the reason I remembered this NPC is because he had a funny name, Lightning Big Shoe or something like that, because names in Stalker can get kind of crazy like that at times. And so I tracked Lightning Big Shoe down, delivered the package to him, and then went on my merry way, thinking I would never see him again. Well, a few days later, I was in a completely different part of the world on another mission when I hear a gunfight break out in the distance. And naturally, I wanted to see what was going on in the hopes that I could maybe steal some loot after the fighting was done. And when I got there, it was over, everybody was dead, and so I began looting the bodies. Well, imagine my surprise when one of the bodies I was looting turned out to be none other than good old Lightning Big Shoe himself. And what's even crazier is that he too was carrying packages that were meant to be delivered to someone else. Turns out, after I delivered the package to him, Mr. Big Shoe decided on his own to travel to a completely different part of the world, take on a delivery job, only to run into some trouble with some assholes along the way where he met his untimely end. And all of this was happening while I was off doing something else, completely unaware that any of this was happening. You know, that's what I mean when I say I like games that make me feel like I'm not the main character. I like when the game continues to exist whether I'm there or not. And it's not like the NPCs and game events enter into frozen stasis the moment they're not on my screen anymore. Yeah, you know, it makes me feel like the game world is an actual place where things actually happen. You know, one day a specific area might be crawling with hostile factions and mutants, and another day it might be calm and peaceful depending on what A-Life decides to do. And my character, who is just some guy, doesn't have a say in any of it. He just has to survive it. And each day is like a new challenge that you have to overcome. And I really like that. You know, the world of Stalker is really small compared to other game worlds, especially these days. And yet it doesn't feel confined because there's always something going on and the world feels like it's full of life. It's just great. So yeah, if you haven't had a chance to experience Stalker yet, Play the original trilogy, Shadow of Chernobyl, Clear Sky, Call of Pripyat first, because they're amazing and you can get the whole set for almost nothing these days. And then, once you're done with them, give Stalker Anomaly a try. You know, this particular version of Anomaly I'm playing is Stalker Gamma, which is also really fun and challenging. Yeah, just, just give it a try. It's really fun. But yeah, 
that's all for me today. Remember to keep it cheeky-breaky in everything that you do. And as always, have a nice day.